ओके बेटा अगेन लुक इन टू दिस दिस इज अगेन अ ट्रू फॉल्स अनसर्टेन स्टेटमेंट इट से द कंडीशनल एंड अनकंडीशनल मीन ऑफ रैंडम वेरिएबल आर द सेम थिंग एब्सोल्युटली इनकरेक्ट लेट मी गिव यू एन एग्जांपल फर्स्ट सो फॉर एग्जांपल लेट्स से एक्स व्हेन एक्स इज 10 वाई इज 20 एंड 30 When x is twenty, y is thirty, forty, fifty. It's nine and ten. Bus. I don't want to create a very large data set to prove the point. But a conditional mean is e of y given x i. So if I were to find out the conditional mean now, I would have done e of y given x. Here it would have mean e of y given x is ten. And here it would have meant e of y given x is twenty. Now the question is, what is the expected value of y given x is ten? What will be the expected value of y, beta? So given x is ten, which means I am only looking into these two y's. I am only looking into these two y's. So for these two y's, I will have twenty plus thirty by two. That means it will be fifty by two. That means it will be twenty five. So the expected value of y will be twenty five given x is ten. What will be e of y given x is twenty? So I will hold x at twenty and I will find the mean as thirty plus forty plus fifty by three, and this is going to give me the answer as eighty plus forty by three, one twenty by three. That means forty. So the expected value of y in this case will be forty. these are the conditional means the conditional means are the means which go ahead and put x at constant some fix x at some value and then find the mean of y find the average value of y now the question that next arises is what is going to happen to the unconditional value of y so if i were to go ahead and find the unconditional mean of y i would have gone ahead and simply done this i would have done 20 Plus thirty, plus thirty, plus forty, plus fifty. There are five observation divided by five. So fifty plus fifty hundred plus forty one forty plus thirty one seventy divided by five, and this is going to give me thirty four. So you see that the unconditional value of y is thirty four. Whereas the conditional mean values of y will be twenty five and forty, and we can clearly go ahead and see that e of y given x i is not equal to just e of y. It is not equal to e of y. So we can go ahead and therefore say that the two things don't mean the same thing. Only there is a special case that you need to remember, and that special case is when x and y are independent of each other. So when x and y are independent of each other, beta, then this is the case where e of e of x y can be written as e of x into e of y. This is when x and y are called independent of each other when the intersection is equal to the product e of x y is equal to e of x into e of y. Now, if this is the case, only in that case you will notice that e of y And e of y given x will be equal to each other because y is not dependent on the value of x. Y ko x se faraki nahi parda. So given that x has happened, the expected value of y will simply be equal to the expected value of y. Am I clear with that? Right. So this is a special case. So if someone asks you, okay, under which scenario? Will the conditional and unconditional mean be the equal things? So they will be equal only when y is independent of x, and e of y will then be equal to e of y given x. Right? Okay, beta.